Good morning. It's about 37 degrees out here today, Thursday morning, and it's a beautiful day. I'm going to go for my walk, and when God starts talking to me, I'm going to turn on the recorder and see what he has to say. Okay. It's got a little bit cold, so I put my hat on, but this is what God's showing to me today. He's showing me that the more of him that he reveals to me, the more of me I see. And I think that's really awesome, and I'm going to meditate that on, on that a little bit more as I go down the road, and I'll tell you what else he has to say. So basically, what God shared with me today is that the more he reveals himself to me, the more I see myself, myself, uh, because I'm created in God's image and in his likeness. And he told me to go back to Genesis 1, and in Genesis 1, our purpose is to subdue, have dominion, and authority over all the earth. Um, that means that everything that the devil brought into the earth as the curse and the cursor, I'm supposed to demand justice and release that person by laying hands on them and healing them, raising the dead, casting out demons, and healing the sick. Uh, and I have all authority and all dominion, and that's the purpose that God put me on the earth, to rule and have dominion and subdue uh, the things on the earth. Because this planet doesn't belong to Satan, it belongs to God. And the church doesn't belong to Satan. Religion doesn't belong to Satan. Uh, and God wants it back. But religion has taught us that we are worthless, that we are unrighteous, unholy, that we're filthy rags and worms in the dirt. And because of this, God's people see themselves as sinners that are saved by grace instead of people who were sinners and are saved by grace and now are the righteousness of God. And everything that Jesus paid for us to have, uh, we now have back. And uh, like in the original Garden of Eden, everything provided for us through the kingdom. But God's people aren't seeing it that way. A lot of people are thinking they're weak and they're nothing and they're nobody. But we're created in God's image. And every time God reveals himself, he's revealing to us who we are and what our character and our nature is like. Because we're his kids, we're created in his image, we're supposed to act just like our Father. We're supposed to do and expect the Holy Spirit to work through us because we are one spirit with the Holy Spirit. And uh, I just really think it's exciting that every time God reveals more of himself to us, then uh, that's, that's our mirror. A mirror coming back in us and that's how we're supposed to have that same character that same nature that same ability in us because he lives in us and that's it for today